So recently I've been doing some traveling and I have some traveling coming up in the next couple of weekends and I wanted today to do a what's in my travel makeup bag video because I haven't done one of these in I think over a year and I have basically been living out of a travel makeup bag for the past couple weeks because I just don't want to like pack it and then repack it because all of my trips are very very close they're all three weekends in a row for my meetups which if you want info about that I will link the flyer in the description box I'm coming to Pennsylvania this weekend Exton Pennsylvania and next weekend I will be in Murph Murfreesboro, I think that's how you say it, Murf Murfreesboro, Tennessee, so I will have the info about that in the description box, but yeah, so I pretty much just wanted to show you guys the products that I have been absolutely loving and taking with me because these are the products that I've been using recently and I just love them. So this is my makeup bag, it's from Sigma, I've used this makeup bag for a really long time, it's been, I think it was in my last what's my travel makeup bag video, it's awesome, it does look really large, but I like it because you can put your brushes in it, all your makeup, and even other stuff. Like I put hair stuff sometimes, perfume, things like that. I don't have a ton of that stuff in it right now. But yeah, you can fit so much in here. And you can also like hold it like this and it kind of folds flat so you can put it in your suitcase easier. I don't know. It just rocks. So I'm pretty sure they still sell this if you're interested. I think they have it in a couple other colors. So I will link this if I can find it in the description box below for you guys. So I'm just going to go ahead and open it and go ahead and get started. Alright, first thing in here is my travel brushes. This is the Mrs. Bunny kit, but I have like a ton of brushes in it. So this is from Sigma. Which way are they going to go today? I think they're go yep, they're going this way. It comes with most of their brush sets because you can just have your brushes out in a cup like this. Wherever you're traveling, cover it up to put it in your bag so they don't get all dirty. It's just it's just amazing. So I don't know if you guys are quite interested in all of the brushes I have, but I guess I'll just go through them really quickly. I really don't have that many. I have a blush brush, a powder brush, a bronzer contouring brush, and then a new concealer brush that I've been obsessed with. Sigma has new brushes, and this one, the Soft Blend Concealer F64, is so amazing for blending out your concealer. I can't even tell you guys. I will talk about that more in my monthly favorites video coming up soon in a few days. I have like a ton of their new brushes in here. These are from their new eye line. So I have like a blending, a highlight, another blending, a under eye brush, a cream shadow brush, regular shadow brush and a pencil brush that I use on my inner corner. So now I will start with the makeup except I mean first thing is not actually makeup but I have a headband because I always put on a headband I don't know if this is just me but I always put on a headband before I do my makeup because I just like all my hair to be out of my face but I don't want to like put it in a ponytail so I just bring a little headband with me. This is in absolutely no order by the way it's just the order that I'm taking it out of the bag so I have my moisturizer which is the simple protective light moisturizer that I put on before I put on my foundation. I have my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray which is the last thing that I use. I definitely don't use this every day but on like special occasions and days that I'm going to be wearing my makeup a really long time I will go ahead and use this and I don't know if it helps tremendously honestly but I like to think that it helps so I use it. I have my under eye concealer, the CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ageless. Talked about this like 40 million times. I have my Benefit Their Real Mascara that I have gotten into recently again. I was like out of this but I got a new one this weekend so woohoo I started using this again and I'm in love with it. I have another mascara. This is my other favorite mascara. This one is the Great Lash Lots of Lashes. I'm wearing this one and Their Real layered today on my lashes. I have a blush. This is the Sigma Creme de Couture Blush in Cherry Apple. It's a pretty kind of like reddish brick pink, if that made any sense. Peachy? I don't. I don't really know what it is, but it's matte and it's really pretty and it's a nice fall colored blush. I've been enjoying this one. And then I have the only eyeshadows that I brought. So this is my Stila palette. I actually made this palette myself. I 
Oop, the brush just fell out. Let's put that back in there. I bought all of these shadows separately and decided to put them in a palette when I acquired eight. Hey, film and light. Hey, camera. Okay, that just needs to go away. They're pretty much all neutral colors except there's a random like mint blue because I just thought this one was really pretty. And I have been really enjoying this. I just pulled it out of my makeup collection because I've just been using the same eyeshadows from my Lorac Pro palette and before that my Naked Basics palette. And I was like, Lindsay, you need to give some other eyeshadows a chance chance so I started using this and I've been really enjoying this lately. I wore these colors to my meetup this past weekend and I'm wearing a couple of them on my eyes right now. I have an eyeliner. This is the Sigma Boost Extended Wear Eyeliner. It's just a black waterline liner. I don't really wear this that often but I wear it if I'm like going out at night on my outer lower on my outer waterline. I have my Tired Eyelash Curler. curler. I absolutely love this. It rocks my foundation my coverall stay outless bleh, stay stay outless Lindsay that's not the name the name is outlast stay fabulous foundation I love this and I actually am really really low on this it won't pump out anymore so I'm like taking it removing it and like pouring it what's like left in here but I need to get a new one of these because I'm obsessed I think it will be my fourth one I can't get enough of this stuff it is amazing and I wear the lightest shade I have a lip gloss this happens to be the one I'm wearing on my lips right now it is a cream sheen gloss in double dare it's a really really pretty pinky plummy color I don't know I think it's a nice pink for fall I have my hula bronzer I have been using this every day I do a little bit of contouring on my cheekbones my temples and stuff like that I this is a, such a good bronzer I have a benefit cream shadow in my two cents which is a gorgeous a gorgeous I said that two times I don't know why a gold cream shadow it's really really beautiful it's very pigmented too it rocks so I like to wear that under my eyeshadow sometimes I think I wore that to the meetup too I have a couple lip products this one is the Maybelline color whisper in who wore it redder and this one is Too Faced naughty nude which is my favorite nude lipstick that I've discovered it's really really creamy and a pretty nude color next I have a non makeup product but I like to keep it in my travel makeup bag it is my Travelo and if you don't know what this is basically it's an on-the-go perfume holder it's super super cool it's so easy to use I will show you guys how to use it because I feel like I need to demonstrate it for you so I'll demonstrate it while I'm talking right now and like show you the visual just so you can see how it works but basically you just choose any perfume that you have and you just pop off the top of it really easily and then you put the bottom of the Travelo on it and you start pumping and your perfume starts pumping into the Travelo and it's really really easy it just takes like a few pumps you can decide how much you want to pump I did about half of the thing yeah it's really easy to use the perfume I decided to take with me on the go was my Taylor, Sw Taylor by Taylor Swift perfume that I've been raving about lately because it's my favorite the Travelo is really really easy to use right out of the package it doesn't require any batteries or plugs or anything like that and you don't have to like take the top off of this it just has the bottom part that you pump it in so it's super super easy to use I just recently discovered this thing and it's so easy for me because I would always put my full-size perfume that I was loving in like a Tupperware container and put it in my bag and sometimes it would just still like leak or it was just like you don't want to bring your whole nice perfume just in case it breaks or your luggage gets lost or something that so the Travelo is really easy because you can bring this and you can also bring this in your carry-on bag because it's really tiny so it fits like the liquid requirements or if you don't travel a lot you can just put it in your purse so you don't have to bring around your favorite big perfume or you can put it in your gym bag literally whatever you want to do with it because it's so tiny and cute and they come in a bunch of colors to choose from of course I chose pink because you know I kind of and bias towards pink. So if you guys are interested in the Travelo, I will have the link to it down below in the description box and I have a 20% off coupon for you guys. If you want to get it, you can use the coupon code HOLIDAYS to get 20% off if you live in the US or Canada, you can use that code. Sorry if you don't live there, but yeah, I do have that awesome coupon code for you guys if you're interested. Next I have my face concealer, which is my Benefit Boing concealer. That stuff is really good. I have my face powder. So this is the Hello Flawless powder from Benefit in the shade Ivory. Yeah, probably. It's most likely the lightest shade. And then I have my eyeliner that I like to wear on my waterline, which is the Rimmel Scandalized in 
nude. I have another mascara. Nope, this is not a mascara. It feels like my Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara, which I know is in here. But this is actually the Benefit Gimme Brow in the shade Medium Slash Deep. I just started using this recently and I really like it. It's a brow gel that keeps your brows in place and it adds a little bit of color to them, like a little bit of darkness, so I don't really have to film, fill them in. I just use this and it's kind of everything in one. Next I have my beauty blender, which is my baby, my little egg that I put on my foundation with. I have talked about this product so many times, it's just absolutely fabulous. I have my Stay Flawless 15 Hour Primer from Benefit. This, I can never get over how cute this packaging is. But again, this is not a product I use every day, just really days where I'm going to have my makeup on for a long time and I want my foundation to last even longer than usual. I have my Sigma tweezers to make sure my brows are looking good for the Benna Brow Tour. You have to have good brows or you're not allowed to come on the tour. Just kidding, you're allowed, but you, I just have those because to keep my eyebrows looking good, okay? And then I have my Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. This is what I thought was the brow stuff. They're the same size, I guess. But yeah, I put this on my bottom lashes. That's what you do with the bottom lash mascara. Then I have my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. Love, love, love. Wear this every day. And lastly, I've recently started using the Urban Decay Primer Potion again. Original. The original vintage packaging. I love this packaging so much. I don't like the squeeze tube. Personally, that is everything that was in my travel makeup bag. Now it's all empty and flat and sad. So that is it. That's all that's in my travel makeup bag. I feel like this was way too long of a video for that, but I just have talking issues. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you like my new bedspread that finally came in, my purple bedspread, and my background, then give this video a thumbs up because I want to know. Or you can let me know in the comments where else I should try filming in my room. And I do have a room tour coming soon. It's just not 100% done yet. But yeah, I think this is the background I want to do for my videos. So let me know what you think about that. And I love you guys so much. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!